I've always said that I see lightning a bit as a hybrid proof of stake. Boom. Because it's called blockchain, not open blockchain. There you go. Um, I've always, uh, I've always uh, thought that some elements of lightning actually look a bit like a proof of stake system. So I find that very interesting. Um, it's still very theoretical, obviously, and how it plays out, we won't know. But um, there will be some opportunities to do some interesting things with that. I don't think we're going to see a major change to proof of work. I think proof of work in Bitcoin as it exists today is one of the fundamental traits of what is Bitcoin. And if you change that, it's not Bitcoin anymore. And in order to change it, you would have to get the consent of the very people who that change affects the most, uh, the miners. So I don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, but at the same time, here's the thing: we can talk about how proof of work isn't working, isn't scaling, isn't decentralized enough, isn't, isn't, isn't. But the problem is that in practice, in real life, right now, it is. It still is. It has been running continuously, without interruption, for seven years, delivering security of transactions, without having the fundamental algorithm and security compromised ever. Name one bank that can say that. Name one system of security that is centralized that can make that claim. So proof of work works today, demonstrably, um, and it continues to work. And so I judge claims that say that proof of work is not working with some degree of skepticism. I'm interested in seeing how it can be improved, uh, but I don't think we're going to fundamentally change that. That is Bitcoin. And if you want to do something different or better, there are plenty of opportunities. There are hundreds and hundreds of coins that do proof of stake and hybrid proof of stake and delegated proof of stake and proof of work with proof of stake and proof of work with different algorithms and CPU and GPU resistance for, for now and <laughs> for now and um, you know all of those things are very interesting. Uh, if you think about consensus algorithms as a domain of science that came into existence in January of 2009 and is only seven years old, the number of PhD level papers that are being written right now is astonishing. And it's developing very fast as a scientific domain in its own right. And I look forward to seeing all the incredible, amazing advancements we're going to make. Thank you. <laughs>